Hello folks, time for another video and shave. All right, well, it's gonna seem like I'm like following or riding Chris's, Chris's coattails here from uh, Chris over at I am CDB. Sorry Chris, but he just did a shave of what I'm gonna be shaving with today as far as soap is concerned. Because I haven't used it in a while, um, and it is my favorite scent by this artisan. I'll be shaving today with Zingari's Nomad. This is in the vegan base. Uh, I know that uh, Heather over at Zingari now has her Sego base, which is their tallow base. But this is the vegan version of that. And, mm, this is my favorite, like I said, my favorite Zingari scent. Mmm, so good. Um, in fact, I, I, you know, I, I commented on Chris's video the other day, but YouTube, something happened, weird is going on with YouTube, even on my channel. People will comment, I'll get an email that they've commented, I go to check on it, and it's gone. I know they're, they haven't been deleting them, so I don't know what's going on. But I did comment on Chris's video, where, you know, this, the scent intrigued him, and it is an awesome scent. If you like bay rums, this is a very sweet bay rum. Now... You know, the notes on this um, is a sweet bay, lime, and rum, of course. But it doesn't have that, like Chris, it doesn't have that traditional bay rum scent. It's more of a sweeter scent. It's not very clovey at all. Now, I did type in his, in his uh, after his video, and I said that a scent that reminds me of this. It's not a dead on ringer, but a scent that reminds me of uh, Nomad. Mm. And it's made here right in New Jersey. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I have this soap like out in the open here somewhere. Let me take a quick look. And I'll tell you what soap kind of reminds me of the same, not the same exact scent, but close to it. And I did mention this on Chris's comments, but it disappeared. And I know he didn't delete it. It's just fa uh, Facebook. Pff. I mean, uh, YouTube is wacky. But Katie's Bubbles... Barnegat Bay kind of has the same. It kind of has the same notes as the Nomad. The Nomad is a little bit sweeter, and there's a little bit more lime. But this is pretty darn close. So if you already have Katie Bubbles, Barnegat Bay, which is right here in the same state of New Jersey, mm, good soap too. But anyway, we'll do this another day. <laughs> so today it's the Nomad. I already have it whipped up in my timeless bowl. Right there. Ooh hoo. Hmm. A lovely scent. And I'm using my craving shaving. Because today is the green and black shave today. Since everything is kind of green. The soap container's green. The soap isn't green, but the soap container is green. And I'll be shaving with the awesome Rod George green and black handle today, which Jill nicknamed for me the frog. And I have a Rockwell 6C in gunmetal head on there today. And I'm on plate number five. I think that's the five. This razor is so shiny. Oh, I almost cut my hand there. And the blade, if you can see the blade that's sitting in there. The blade that's in here is a Balzano Supernox on its first use. So we're going to go with that today. Like I said, I already lathered up this soap so I didn't have to kind of waste your guys' time. And uh, it's very rainy and crappy here today in New Jersey. And the kids are still doing their home school work. Not home school, but they're home doing their school work. Because they do have to sign in every day. All right, so we're going to go with this awesome nomad. From Zingari Man. Actually, the nomad bomb, aftershave bomb is also one of my favorite bombs. It was actually the second bomb I've ever bought from an artisan. 
first bomb was from Soap Commander. But I actually fell in love with the Nomad bomb, aftershave bomb. Prior to that, I was like kind of using just aftershaves. But I fell in love with the the Nomad bomb from Zingari. I wound up getting two of them because I love it so much. I use it when I'm not shaving. Plus, you know, that also turned me on to bombs like PA Star Jellies and Vanule, their aftershave bomb, and Lakewood. But yeah, the Nomad was the the quintessential aftershave bomb for me. Which, of course, I'll be using at the end of the shave. It is a 100% perfect match. Now, when, before Heather had her other company before it was called Zingari Man. The soap used to be called Sexy Beast, if I remember correctly. And I actually have soap from her original company, which at the moment the name is eluding me. <laughs> But when she changed to Zingari, she changed the name to Nomad from Sexy Beast. I kind of like Sexy Beast, that name. It was a cool name. Anyway, Rockwell 6C in gunmetal head with the awesome frog handle. Thanks, Jill, for nicknaming this. Oh, yeah, and this handle was sent to me by my buddy Wes. My buddy Wes sent me this handle, and of course there was a razor head attached to it too. So thank you, Wes, because I love this handle. It is actually a perfect match with the Rockwell 6C, or the 6S. I just like the 6C head on this because it's, I think a shinier head on this handle is cool. Eventually, I will pick up the black Rockwell. But I already have the 6S in that gray matte finish. So, it's not a razor I actually need at the moment. <laughs> I have plenty. Oh, and again, I also forgot to remove the battery from my clock. Sorry. But there's so much background noise going on right now anyway. My wife's doing laundry. So, I hear the dryer in the background. The rain is hitting my skylight. The clock over here is going tick, 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 tick. Yeah, it's just a, you know, just a daily shave. And since I've been seeing the Nomad a lot in a lot of Shave of the Days, I don't want to feel left out. And then when I saw Chris, the first video, I, you know, he was like, the scent really intrigued him. And it intrigues me also. But like I said, it's reminiscent to me. Of Katie's Bubbles, Barnegat Bay. Which the Barnegat Bay is right here in New Jersey and I'm not too far from it. I'm just a little north of it. I'm actually on the Raritan Bay, which isn't as beautiful as the Barnegat Bay because the Raritan Bay is closer to New York City, so it's a little more industrial. 
boy, that was a good first pass. I'll tell you what, never ever do I have problems, I should really knock on wood, with any of my rock wall razors as far as how smooth a razor it is. I mean, there are many razors out there. I own, you know, about 20 razors. Some being vintage, and then some, of course, being new, artisan-style razors. I have some expensive ones, and I have some inexpensive ones, and they all shave great. And, you know, the 6C is only 50, uh, 49 or $50. I actually got it on sale when it was like 44 But you're basically getting, I always tell people, you know, you're basically getting, not that this is a push for Rockwell because they're not a sponsor. Actually, I don't have any sponsors. But for $49, or let's just say $50, you're getting six razors. Now, I understand that plate one and plate two were kind of very mild. But if you're just starting out, hey, you know, awesome deal. Now, I know with a lot of beginners, sometimes razors that have adjustments or multiple settings are not a good thing because you uh, tend to sometimes go a little too aggressive. But, hey, you know what? You're getting basically six razors. For the price of one. That's just how I look at it. I originally bought the 6C before I bought the 6S. And the only reason why I bought the 6S was because I saw a lot of videos. And everybody was always complimenting the weight. And then I got lucky because one of my plates that my 6C came with. Had a little tiny, tiny little mark on it. Didn't interfere with performance at all. But, I contacted the company, and Rockwell got, I mean, right back to me. Almost like the second I hit send on the email, I was getting a reply already. And they said they were going to send me out a replacement plate. I didn't even have to send back the other plate. So when the other plate came, with only within a couple days, there was a gift certificate in there for... Like $20, if I remember correctly, on my next Rockwell purchase. So I was like, hey, I got $20. Basically off on something I could buy at Rockwell. So I was like, hey, I'm going to get that 6S. So I picked up the 6S for an additional $20 off, which was great. And like I said, I love the success because I like the, ex, ex, the little bit of extra weight that it offers. And I don't have any glide issues because the success is uh, has a matte finish. And some people complain that the matte finish doesn't glide. As well as this nice gunmetal plating on here, which is the chrome or the regular chrome. I pretty much use, all my soaps are very, very slick, so. I really don't ever have any glide issues unless it's my fault and I let the soap dry on my face. But usually I don't have any glide issues. Like, my face is very thirsty anyway. So, you know, if it does start to dry I just add a little wetness you know a little water to my face a little dishydration there and you see those soap bases will come alive like right now the Zingari in the vegan base is slick and I haven't tried the Sago base but I heard that's even slicker but that's awesome boy man that rain's coming down today and it's a cold rain was outside throwing up the garbage. And I usually run around the house in shorts. I usually wear shorts year-round. 
especially if I'm in the house, though. But I went outside, that rain hit my legs. Woo! It was cold! Some cold rain. Mm. Delightful scent. Actually, my granddaughter, she had like a bad stomach ache last night. We were worried at first that maybe she picked up something because she did go to the store with my wife yesterday and I kind of wanted her to stay home, but, but she just had some kind of a stomach ailment. Because you can't even really go to the doctor now. Like my doctor, my heart doctor, and I just had that heart operation not too long ago, and it's like, they pretty much canceled all future appointments for her now. I kind of get it because my doctor is actually located in the hospital where I had my surgery, which is part of Rutgers University. Yeah, actually, when I had my, my heart surgery, since it's part of Rutgers University, it is actually filmed and they use, uh, you know, they use some of the surgeries when they teach in their medical classes. So I was like, hey, cool deal. It's feeling good. Just got those little stupid areas as usual. I just don't want to push it because I think I'm already almost at that point. But even if I go a little too crazy and a little bit too close, I know it's coming after the shave. I know I got some Zingari bomb coming on, and that stuff is magic. Heather uh, does an awesome job with her. Of course, her soaps, but also her aftershave bombs are second to none. I mean, if you're one of those guys who are into all the cool skin foodie products like that are in like her bombs and whatnot some people just like to throw the aftershave on there and be done with it which i get i was always that way too but once i kind of came across how awesome some of the uh aftershave bomb products are i always you know thought like an aftershave bomb or lotion was always like you know sticky and greasy but pff, i'll tell you what some of these artisan aftershave bombs are phenomenal. And especially the ones from Zingari. Not that I'm polishing Heather's behind here, but I'm just telling you, it's good stuff. I just got a weeper or two right there. But that's because I was pushing it like a fool. Anytime like I do nick myself or I overdo it, it's just my fault. Especially when I'm using a super slick soap. It's just me trying to shave down a bone. That's okay, just a little cold water rinse there. That's good. Yeah, my water's as cold as those raindrops were today because I know it was hailing a little bit last night. And it's slapping on my skylight in the bathroom here really loud. All right. That's good stuff. All right, so bef I'll just let my... I'm trying to pick up my shorts here. <laughs> All right, just going to let my face dry a little bit. I'll go over the shave. So that was Ngari's. Nomad. Awesome bay scent. A sweet bay scent. Hint of lime. Sweet bay. Mm. So good. So good. Good stuff. And like says, this is in the vegan base. Zingari now has their seagull base, which is their towel base. And that was my craving shaving brush. So 
want to make sure I get that logo right for Charles there. Craving shaving in that nice green and black. And the knot that's in here is actually a 27 mil Fanchurian knot from That Darn Rob. Love that Fanchurian knot. It feels like with the nice gel tips in the tip of that brush. I'll rinse it out for you and show it to you. It's a really awesome brush. Sorry, got to run the water for a sec. Yeah, I believe the hair that's used in this Fanchuri knot is a high mountain, high mountain badger. I could be wrong, but yeah, the brush and knot was graciously sent to me by Mr. Josh Mars from Redbeard Shaves. Which is an, they have, he has an awesome Facebook group called the Redbeard Shave Lounge, which I am a admin over there. So if you want to join that group, it's an awesome Facebook group. Just uh, send me a message because it is a private group. So, and I will, uh, I'll let you in. All right, let me just flick some of that water out of that knot. I just do a little pew, 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 on my towel. I go like this to a towel. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> All right, now look at that awesome knot those gel tips in there and it's a great color handle I love the green and black because you know that is my color when it comes to shave gear and like I said the razor today was the the Rockwell 6C on plate number five wait a second I said this is so shiny I think that let me actually look because I hate giving out wrong info yeah, it's definitely plate five, which you'll see right there, plate number five. And the blade that's in there was the Balzano Super Nox. Which is nicely stuck up into my top cap. And that's the Balzano blade. Did I actually show that the right way? Balzano Supernox. That <laughs> glass is hanging off my head. I am just a mess. All right, so that was a good shave. I do have some weeper action right there on my fat neck, but I know it'll happen in a second. I put that awesome Zingari bomb on there. That'll take care of that. And I still have some goodness left in the old bowl. Which actually, the other day, my wife did come home and she's like, hey, you have soap left in there. Can I use it? I'm like, absolutely. So I don't think she's going to be using it today because she just shaved her legs the other day. I'll tell you what, my face feels nice and smooth. That's just a little pff, nothing over there. So we're gonna go with the Zingari matching Nomad aftershave bomb. Comes in a nice little pump. And people ask me why I don't just pump it in my hand and then rub my hands together, you know, like this. And then this hand won't make up to my face easily because I had rotator cuff surgery a few years back and I have limited motion on my left shoulder just in case you're wondering I did mention that uh, I hear the washing machine sorry sorry folks if it's loud this bomb is so soothing and it soaks in quickly and it leaves your face feeling just awesome. There's no burn, there's no sting. I know some people like that, I do sometimes too, but it's very soothing. There's no alcohol in it whatsoever. Wow, that's 
I don't understand the new appliances. You know, like our washer and dryer are brand new, but the wa our, our washing or clothes washer is that efficiency one. It doesn't have the middle post in it. It spins at like a million RPMs. I swear, it sounds like it's gonna take off to another planet. That bomb is so awesome. Heather knows I love her bombs because I used to just order the bombs without the soaps. Like he says, it always soothes my skin. Especially if I go a little too aggressive on the face and I like, you know, try to mow down, like down the bone. <laughs> so, that was the Zingari Nomad Aftershave Bomb. It's in a little pump. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, so if you enjoyed this Zingari Nomad Shave, I know like there's been a ton of these Nomad Shaves out there, but this was my Nomad Shave. And <laughs> like I said, it is my favorite Zingari scent. So if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, phew, thumbs down. And thank you to all my subscribers. And please subscribe to my channel. If you're already not working on another giveaway, but we got a little while to get up there. We're, I think, in the mid-220s right now, almost 230s, so we're getting there. And we'll definitely have another giveaway. So, until next shave, and stay safe out there, folks. Glenn signing off. <laughs>